Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. As we take a live look from our ABBA Eye Care camera, you can see that traffic building along Powers and Woodman this morning. Going to be a nice day today. We'll track some changes as we go into the midweek Wednesday and Thursday. 48 degrees this afternoon. Overnight lows remain chilly in the upper 20s and a little cooler by about 8 degrees in the low 40s tomorrow afternoon. Steel City, 48 sunny to partly cloudy 21 overnight into the low 40s tomorrow afternoon for highs. And you can see we've got a few high clouds kind of stretching over the western side of the state this morning. Maybe a couple of snow flurries up into northern Colorado coming out of Wyoming. That is about it. The flow today is kind of west to east. It's a zonal flow. And that means it's a pretty quiet weather pattern, but it is upslope into the mountains a bit. So you squeeze out a couple of snow showers there. Then we've got a trough which begins to dig in. This one's going to dig pretty far down to the south, it looks like. That will drive some snow into the San Juans, the Sangre de Cristos, out across the plains, and perhaps some light snow here, Colorado Springs and Pueblo, as we work our way into Wednesday and Thursday. For today, though, we've got partly cloudy skies northwestern Colorado. Uh, clear to partly cloudy. We'll see an increase in clouds, though, as we go into the afternoon. Denver in the front range, a couple of showers there and some showers up into Wyoming. We've got anywhere from clear to partly cloudy skies as we work our way into the afternoon. Now we're going to jump ahead here. This is Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. Light snow, Palmer Divide, Denver, out towards Burlington. As we go through the morning, we'll see some light snow develop uh, up into Colorado Springs and Pueblo, back into Fremont, Custer counties, and out across the plains. The focus will then shift to the mountains, the San Juan Mountains, and across the Raton Mesa out into Baca County and further east out into Kansas. And we'll get some waves of snow showers here. Right now, it does not look like any huge accumulations for the I-25 corridor, but from Pueblo south to Walsenburg and Trinidad, that's where you may see some higher amounts. We'll watch the models as we get into the middle of the work week, but it looks like we're pretty quiet Colorado Springs, Canyon City, and then you've got a little bit of accumulating snow back to our west. Overnight lows or, or temperatures right now, excuse me, are in the 20s and 30s and teens out across the plains. We're at 3 degrees in Alamosa, 10 in Gunnison, and 36 degrees in the Salida area. So we'll work our way into the upper 40s and low 50s this afternoon. Generally upper 40s, I-25, low and mid 50s out across the plains. Then you look into the mountains, Leadville 34, 33 in Gunnison as we head into the afternoon. Winds are going to be pretty light. Might see some winds gusting 5 to 10 miles an hour. That is about it. Certainly looks better than yesterday. 21 degrees as we had overnight for Pueblo, 22 Colorado Springs, 20 in Salida. Tomorrow afternoon, not quite as mild as today. Upper 30s, low 40s, 41 Canyon City, 46 in Salida, and 46 as well for the La Junta area. And then your seven-day forecast will take our temperatures from the upper 40s today into the low 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, track some snow on Wednesday, dry out Thursday, and we're back into the mid-50s as we roll into the weekend. Pueblo, 48, 41, low 40s. Wednesday. That chance for some snow showers Wednesday and Thursday. 50s return by the weekend. The Tri Lakes region, you're at 36 tomorrow afternoon. Some light snow possible Wednesday into Thursday. Overnight lows will fall down into the low and mid 20s, but by the weekend, we're back into the low 50s Saturday and Sunday. Canyon City, 51 today, low 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, maybe some snow showers Wednesday into Thursday, but by Saturday and Sunday, we're approaching 60 degrees. And for Woodland Park and Teller County, we will continue to see those mild temperatures today and then cool it off a little bit into the upper 30s Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll jump back into the low and mid 40s Thursday and Friday and warm it up significantly going into the weekend. Right now we're talking about the low 50s for Saturday.